So my sophomore year of college, I actually joined the Cal Lightweight crew. Um, I was a small kid, and of course I wasn't heavy enough to, to row with the heavyweights, and so I was under 155 pounds, so I qualified for the lightweight crew. And I was on a, on a, I was on a team, an amazing team. I was on a boat of eight, uh, with eight people, and I rowed with them for you know, a good six months. We bonded really well. But then all of a sudden, I did something that really let them down, let the, the whole team down, let my coach down. You know, I'm, I'm in this team of eight, but I also was doing a lot of other activities. I was playing intramural soccer. And I got a little ambitious one day, and I attempted a bicycle kick when I probably shouldn't have done that. Uh, you know, I probably shouldn't have done it. And I ended up flipping backwards, missing the ball completely, and landing flat on my back. And then immediately I got up, and I was like, I'm okay, I'm okay. But then I started coughing, and you know, I don't want to get too graphic, but I started coughing up blood. Um, I had punctured a blood vessel in my lung when I, had did, uh, when I did that bicycle kick. So the first lesson is don't do bicycle kicks if you don't know how to do them. Um, I've learned that lesson big time. But you know, the, the second lesson is you, you got to take care of yourself, especially when there's a team that's sort of relying on you. And I, and I didn't do that. So what happened was I got not kicked off the team. I still was able to come to practice and just watch and just wish I was rowing. Uh, I loved rowing, and I, but I couldn't anymore. It was doctor's orders. So what happened is I was on the sidelines, and then the women's cow lightweight team, their coxswain, the person on the boat that yells, you know, row, 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 or stroke, 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 whatever, uh, she quit. And so they didn't have a coxswain anymore. Here I was just standing doing nothing, and I knew the commands, and I knew how to do everything. But having a guy be a coxswain for a women's team wasn't really normal. Plus, me being heavier than all the women on the team, that's definitely not normal. The coxswain is always the lightest person on the team. That's why you see these teams with, with really large men or women, and then the person you know, who calls the commands are really tiny because they want them to be as light as possible. But they asked me to be the coxswain for the women's team. And at first I was like, that's a little weird. I feel a little uncomfortable doing that, but I really had nothing else better to do. And I missed rowing. I missed being on the water. So I did it, and it was kind of awkward at first, but you know, the girls were really nice and, 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 and allowed me to become a part of their team, and I, I bonded with them as well. And what ended up happening is we, we went to a number of races together, you know, I think four or five different races that season, and we ended up winning almost every single race. And it was so cool. I mean, like in the po we we're on the podium, you know, where there's like first place, second place, third place. We were always staying on the first place podium, and it was all these girls and then, and then me. And a lot of people were probably like, well, what is this guy doing there? And saying like, oh, he's the coxswain for their team. So the thing that I learned from this situation, and I hope you could take away from it, is that even though things may not happen the way that you expected, or things may not happen, the, the, you know, things aren't the way they should be, that, that shouldn't stop you from doing what you love and, and, and trying, potentially trying something new to explore different ways to kind of, um, you know, experience whatever it is that you love. And, you know, I, I didn't ever, I didn't ever plan to be on the women's rowing team, obviously, but I ended up becoming coxswain of the year for the entire lightweight crew, men and women. And I was just so thankful for that. And, and if I didn't, you know, give it a shot, and I didn't let go of how things normally should be, um, that wouldn't have happened. And, and those were some of the best times of my life. <laughs> Oh, yeah.